Hi gorgeous, today I'm gonna be sharing with you some of my favorite dragster makeup tubes. With makeup getting so expensive, I was thinking how can we save money and still look gorgeous. So I was watching all of my products to find makeup tubes that I have in my collection and I found some really great ones. Before we start, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell. I have found more makeup tubes that I'm gonna post in future videos. And if you like makeup tube videos, don't forget to give a thumbs up up as well get the band on i'm gonna start off with a popular primer that comes with a hefty price tag and this one is the charlotte tilbury hollywood flawless filter for a superstar youth glow the makeup dupe for this one is the elf hello glue liquid filter for the charlotte tilbury one i have bought the mini i didn't think i needed the full size and for this one i have the full size <laughs> yeah the baby the mama i'm going to apply all of the expensive products on this side and on the other the makeup dupes i'm going to start with the charlotte tilbury product i have it in the shade too fair and this one has a doe foot applicator i'm going to apply this directly on my face with a doe foot applicator I haven't used this one in a while because I was using the e.l.f. Hello Glow filter so even the name is very similar and now I'm going to spread it out with my fingertips you can also use a sponge if you want this one gives a very pretty glow you can also use it by itself without any makeup on it blurs a little bit my pores the skin looks very soft and glowy it's not looking greasy let's go now to the elf hello glow filter i have it in the shade one fair and with this one we also have a doe applicator but it is pretty huge let me show you so this one is very similar to the tarte shape tape concealer i'm taking the elf dupe again i'm going to blend it with my fingertips the elf hello glow filter has just a tiny bit more coverage but it's not as blurring as the charlotte tilbury flawless filter so the shades are very very similar i'm guessing that elf cosmetics have duped all of the shades i like that they're trying to make makeup dupes of more expensive products but i don't like when they are copying the packaging like with the new elf products that i'm going to have a picture here it is like i have one primer now on my face these are so similar the charlotte tilbury primer contains 5.5 milliliters the travel size and it retails for 15 dollars the elf hello glow liquid filter is a full size it contains 31.5 milliliters and it retails for 14 dollars 14 with almost the same money you're getting six times more product i also want to show you how they look with the foundation on if we have any differences and i think i zoomed in a lot <laughs> and the full size of the shallow tilbury product contains 10 milliliters for 49 dollars for foundation i'm gonna be using this one by wet and wild it is the bare focus tented hydrator tented skin veil the shade that i have is in light this one contains hyaluronic acid and squalane i haven't used this one in a while i have done a review about it if you want to see how it looks after a few hours i'm taking now my beauty blender let's go on this side this foundation even though it says it is in light it's not a very light shade keep that in mind i'm adding just a tiny bit more and then i'm taking a different sponge this is by huda beauty and i'm going to do exactly the same and this product is also a makeup dupe for a more expensive one so i'm going to use it in another video i don't see a difference between my two sides even though these are slightly different on a bare skin with foundation on top of them they are exactly the same now let's move on to the next dragster makeup tube and this is for a very very popular concealer this one is by nars it is the radiant creamy concealer so we have a thin doe foot applicator and the makeup dupe has a very similar applicator so this one is the maybelline fit me concealer 
concealer in the shade 10. Actually, the full size of the NARS concealer is very similar to the Maybelline one. And let's see the applicator. Done. and also the NARS one they are identical and I'm going to start with the NARS concealer the shades that I have are not exactly the same I don't have all of the shades of the Maybelline concealer and also the NARS concealer I'm going to add this in the inner corner and it is almost empty I have been using this for a few months I actually wanted to try it for the longest time and then I bought it before my sister's wedding because I did the makeup for some people in the wedding and I wanted to find concealers to use. I am a professional makeup artist and I had a professional makeup kit but after I started my YouTube channel I stopped doing makeup on other people and a lot of my products expired so I needed to buy other products. I'm taking the same sponge that I used before. The NARS concealer has a creamy formula. It is very very blendable. We have full coverage with this concealer. I have used this for my sister's wedding on me and it didn't crease all day long. The wedding was in Cyprus and it was super hot. Let's go to the other side with the makeup dupe. And this one has very similar formula. They blend exactly the same way. And it's not easy to find very similar drugstore products to high-end products. I don't know if we should continue saying high-end products because all the high-end brands got even more expensive and now the prices are luxury. The staying power of the Maybelline concealer is the same as the NARS concealer and if you're looking for a concealer at a much affordable price point you need to try the Maybelline Fit Me concealer let's talk money the travel size of the NARS concealer retails for $15 and we're getting 1.4 milliliters the Maybelline concealer retails for $7.49 we are getting 6.8 milliliters and the full size of this one retails for $32 for 6 milliliters. To set the concealers and also the rest of my face makeup, let's continue to the next makeup dupe. I couldn't find them. It is a powder. I have here the Catrice True Skin Mineral Loose Powder and also the Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder. Both of them are in translucent. I'm going to start again with the more expensive one. I have tried this for many years. I really like it when I am in Cyprus and the weather that is so much warmer it has a lot of humidity i'm taking a powder brush now and i'm going to set with tapping motions with this powder less is more it is one of the products that if i apply more it feels very tight on the skin also it looks dry i have dry skin oops let's Let's blend this a little. I have dry skin and I can still use it. You just need to find the threshold of the powder quantity. The Laura Mercier powder gives a matte finish. It can last all day long. It can work with any foundation and any concealer. Now I'm switching to a smaller brush to use it on my eyes. I'm blending the NARS concealer now. Every concealer needs a tiny bit of blending on me because I have some fine lines here and now I'm taking the Laura Mercier powder now let's go on the eyelid and I'm going to use different brushes for the Catrice powder let's take now the makeup dupe this one contains hyaluronic acid as well I really like that we have a shifter with this product look at this to prevent any accidents and with a different powder brush now and taking the powder the Catrice True Skin Powder gives a matte finish as well. It is a more forgiving product than the Laura Mercier one because if you apply a tiny bit more, it's not gonna be tightening. The Catrice Powder is one of my favorite drugstore powders. I have used it in so many of my videos. I'm gonna be very sad if they discontinue it. For the eyes, I'm also taking a different brush. To be fair to the two powders, <laughs> both of the powders can last all day long 
on the face. I love testing drugstore makeup dupes and in general drugstore makeup. So let me know in the comments if you have any favorite makeup dupes that you found that you have tried lately and you're loving i gonna have here a travel size product for the more expensive one this one contains 9.3 grams of product and the price of it is 24 dollars the catrice true face true true skin face powder contains 4.5 grams of product and the retails for $8 so this is $16 for 9 grams of product you are still saving money by using the drugstore makeup dupe and the full size of the Laura Mercier powder contains 29 grams of product and you're paying $43 yeah it's a lot they can both last up to 12 months now let's go to some bronzers I have here a NARS product and also by Catrice. The NARS bronzer is in the shade Laguna. It is a legendary bronzer. I'm sure you have seen it everywhere. Now they have more shades. In the beginning they had only Laguna. Basically this one is the lighter shade. I'm going to start with this one and I'm taking an angle face brush. I'm starting with the cheekbone. I'm also adding some near the hairline and I'm trying to blend it very very well so you don't see any harsh lines next let's go to the jawline it is so natural and it gives a soft matte finish you can add some more if you want more intensity it has a very very blendable formula I never had issues with this bronzer and for the other side I have the Catrice Clean ID Mineral Bronzer SPF and this is how it looks super pretty packaging this is in the shade 10 light medium and even in the pan they look so similar look at this now i'm taking a different brush and again oops i took too much i'm going on this side i don't see the difference this is also a very soft formula it is very blendable it has spf 15 that i don't think it adds so much protection to your skin i'm taking some more for the jawline and i'm also blending on the neck both of the bronzers are super pretty on the skin they give the perfect sun kissed look the nurse bronzer that i have here is a travel size and it contains 3.3 grams of product the price of it is 19 dollars 19 and the catrice one is six dollars for seven grams of product and the full size of the nurse bronzer contains 11 grams of product for $40. On the face you can't really tell what I have used on each side. You have nothing to lose to try this makeup dupe. I'm very excited for the next makeup dupe because I have finally found something for this one. This is the Dior Backstage Rosy Glow Blush in the shade 1 pink. I have tried this also in my TikTok viral makeup products video. I'm going to have a link in the description box and I was pretty sure that I had a very similar shade for this blush by Essence. But I couldn't find it anywhere so I found another one yeah I'm going to start with the Dior blush on this side the expensive side I'm taking some of this I'm adding oops I applied again a lot it looks so light in the pan and I always forget that it is brighter on the skin this one gives a beautiful soft blurring effect also it changes a little bit the color it looks super nice you don't need to apply a lot of this blush let's go now to the makeup dupe and this is the la splash cosmetics moonlight glow face palette this is the star face palette they also have a moon face palette the names of the palettes are very confusing and this is the shade that i found i have swatched everything in my collection the shade that is super similar to the dior blush is this one in stellar pink and let's take it now oops again i applied too much 
the color is not exactly the same this one is a little bit more purpley and this pink lavender but also don't forget that this blush is color changing both of the blushes give the same finish a soft glowy finish the ls flash palette contains four shades and the price of it is 34 dollars and the dior one is 40 dollars so you're getting four shades one shade and the next makeup dupe is for a very expensive highlighter and this one is by natasha denona it is the super glow highlighter i have here the shade two light medium and i really like this one on my cheeks but it is also super expensive i'm going to be using this with a brush yeah what else and let's see Ooh, so gorgeous this is a darker shade for me however it is stunning and the makeup dupe that i found is by wet and wild this is a makeup glow highlighting powder in the shade precious petals i also love this highlighter i'm using it a lot in my videos in my everyday looks and i'm taking a different shade brush a different brush now to apply oops I applied too much to apply on my face the color is super super similar in the swatches as well the wet and wild highlighter is as smooth as the natasha denona very reflecting as well the wet and wild one is just a tiny bit peachier just a tiny bit but if i had to choose which one to repurchase of course it was gonna be the wet and wild one they both give the wet look that i like for highlighters they don't intensify any texture they look awesome on the skin so let's see how much do they cost the full size of the natasha denona highlighter retails for 38 dollars and it contains 10 grams of product i couldn't find exactly the price for this one it contains 4 grams of product so the price is around 20 dollars and the makeup dupe retails for 6 dollars 99 we're getting 4.5 grams of product so we have a big difference in the price this is a great option for a highlighter on a budget and now let's go to the brows i'm going to be using some benefit products i found the makeup dupes for the brows but i'm gonna be using them in a different video i'm gonna be using the brow zings pro palette by benefit in the shade medium deep i bought this one for my sister's wedding and also a good friend of mine was getting married and i wanted to have a lot of shades for the brows these are amazing amazing brow powders we also have some waxes here two brushes and i'm going to set the brow powder with a fluff up brow wax benefit has sent this to me i really like it it gives very nice volume so i'm going to clean up first my brows with a clean q-tip now i'm taking the brow palette and these two shades here with an angle brush and i'm going to fill my brows in i'm going to the other eye now i'm taking the fluff up brow wax i really like using it without any makeup on there is one product that i really think you never need to buy the more expensive version and that is an eyeliner this one is by natasha denona it is the macro blade liquid liner and this one here is a black eyeliner with a sponge tip applicator I'm going to add it on this eye before applying this on my eyes i'm going to add a little bit of bronzer in the crease i'm gonna be using the nars bronzer on both of my eyes to save time and for the inner corner i'm taking the wet and wild highlighter again just to save time I love this shade on my eyes. I'm taking again the bronzer to define the lower lash line. So I'm taking the Natasha Denona one and let's zoom you in. So I'm starting on the center. I'm trying to stay very close to my lashes and fill in this triangle. And now I'm going in the inner corner. The line that I created was not very smooth and I needed to go back and smooth it out which is not easy to reapply your eyeliner and the makeup dupe that I found is by L'Oreal it is super similar and it is the perfect slim eyeliner by Superliner in the shade 1 intense black the other one doesn't have a 
shade but you can see it is black so let's go now to this eyeliner it is one of my favorite drugstore eyeliners i'm starting again at the center and i'm going very close to the lashes it's not tagging the skin so it is super easy to use this eyeliner has a sponge tip applicator as well and then now let's create the triangle and i'm filling it in so i'm going in the inner corner the l'oreal eyeliner is easier to clean up the edges the natasha denona stains a little bit the skin it's not the worst you can still remove what you need with an eyeliner brush so basically the makeup tube is easier to use and also less expensive the natasha denona eyeliner is 27 dollars for 0.55 milliliters and this one is 10 dollars for 0.6 milliliters so almost the same quantity three times the price i always prefer drugs or eyeliners and let's go now to a mascara this one is the estee lauder sanctuous knockout defining lift and fun mascara i've never tried this one i want to apply it for the video i'm going in the lower eye the formula is very creamy for mascaras i always prefer drugstore products this mascara does nothing maybe it is because i have applied a very thick line for the eyeliner you need to apply a few layers to give volume it gives very nice definition so i'm gonna use it again without so much makeup on the eyes to actually see the lashes and let's go now to a very very viral lip gloss dupe i have here the fenty beauty gloss bomb in the shade fenty glow and of course the drugstore makeup dupe it is by maybelline the lifter gloss in the shade 9 topaz actually this is a makeup dupe that you shared with me and thank you so much because i really like the dupe and i'm going to start with the more expensive one first of all i'm gonna remove what i have now it is this essence glossy lip balm that i'm using all the time it is in the shade 2 soft peach and now i'm taking the fenty gloss bomb I think I'm going to neutralize the leaves. We have a doe foot applicator. It is a mini product. Let's see the doe foot applicator of the Maybelline. So the applicator is super, super similar. I think it is exactly the same size. Also the packaging of the products is very similar, but I like that it is not identical. I'm taking the expensive one and I'm going to add it on half of my lips. It's so difficult to apply only on half of the lips this one is a light brownish lip gloss it is a super glossy formula i'm taking now the lifter gloss the maybelline gloss has a thinner consistency and i prefer that they have exactly the same glossiness and let's see the prices that i have in my notes so this one is the small size it contains 5.5 milliliters for 12 dollars and the maybelline is $10 for 5.4 milliliters and the price for the full size of the Fenty Beauty lip gloss is $21 for 9 milliliters. I prefer the Maybelline lip gloss because of the formula. I also found some underrated drugstore makeup products that you can watch the video here. 